what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video you'll be taking a look at suyu emulator yes one of the best switch emulator which came and i'm going to show you how to get the final build of this amazing emulator which offers great performance and fixes many lags in your switch game not only that but i'll also guide you step by step on how to set it up on your pc and android phone so by the end of this video you'll be ready to enjoy your favorite switch game but before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification so you never miss an update on gaming air emulations let's jump in as many of you already know not long ago, the popular user emulator was shut down, leaving a huge gap in the Nintendo Switch emulation scene. After that, several new emulators came out to take its place, but one of them really stood out, which is Suyu. Suyu was more than just another user fork. It offered amazing performance, better compatibility, and fewer lags than most other options. It quickly became one of the most popular Switch emulators, but unfortunately, it didn't last long. Like usual emulator, Nintendo eventually shut it down. Thankfully, before Suyu was taken down, I managed to save the last four builds, including the developer build. This build still works great, and today, I'll be showing you how to get them and set them up on both PC and android phone so without much ado let's look at the tutorial okay so we are here for the installation of the emulator which is the CU emulator and this video is going to be on two sessions and the first session will be on how to get the emulator installed on the pc and also the second version is going to be on the android platform so meaning after after showing you how to set it how to get and set it up on pc i'll also show you guys on how to do everything on the android platform so um when you look here i have two emulators over here one says suyu dev build and the other says suyu official build and the reason why i differentiate this is because i made the dev build as raw file and also the official build at zip file so that you guys will know the differences between these two okay so now um you are going to download this emulator over here for your opinion you can choose one to download and i always recommend you guys for going with the official build but if you like you can also download the um dev build as well and try them and see which one works better for you now before we continue there there is something that i want you guys to know you see these two files over here which is the firmware and the product keys this file i'm not going to teach you guys on how to get this file because it's against nintendo rules i mean nintendo policy on youtube so i'm not going to teach you guys on how to get this thing over here so without i think you have to do a little research of your own so what i what i'm going to tell you guys is just get these two files these two files here and then we are ready to go i'm vividly explaining everything because they are they are going to be new new people who are going to watch this video and they won't have any knowledge on installing the emulator so i'm going to cover the tutorials from beginning to the end you have to install winra and with winra you can search on google for winra and then you download the WinRAR and you install it because you are going to need the WinRAR for the installation or for the extraction of the emulator. And when you have WinRAR installed, you you shall you shall see something like this WinRAR. Whenever you right click on a zip file or a RAW file, you should see something like this WinRAR. So when you see something like this, it simply means that you've successfully installed WinRAR on your PC. So get WinRAR installed and then let's continue so um after you are done with the installation of winrar just right click on the emulator like this and then you extract the emulator which is the cu so i'm going to extract boot okay so we are done with the extraction of the official build now let's head let's proceed with the dev build this is the dev build we do the same thing you right click 
and then you select extra to this this one okay so now here we have two two folders the one is the dev build and the one is the official build so as i said earlier i would advise you guys to always go with the official build so inside the official build you can see some zip and these are the four builds that i managed to save before they got terminated or before they got deleted on the internet so with this you have to choose one from these four so you can go with any of these four so let's say you are going with this one which says cu window s64 so when you when you select the one you have to go with you also have to extract it because it's in a zip file so you right click here and then you select winrar and then you select extract to and here you get your emulator okay so here like this we we, we now have our emulator so when you open up it says release you open it and then you should see CU. so you are going to run this one so you double click it and then you open here it says something like encryption keys are missing in order to use this emulator you need to provide your own encryption keys you in order to play them so what you are going to do or what this simply means is that we need to install the keys the product keys as i said earlier so with that one you just come back to your product key session so here we have the product keys and the firmware session so you right click on your product keys and then you extract you do the same thing which is extract now before that let me let me check something here okay so um you can install the so you can install the product keys using the cu emulator so head over to the two session here and then you click it and then you select install decryption key so you select this one and then you locate the folder that contains your product keys so it's here remember let's 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 extract the product key this is the product key so it's in it's in the zip file so we will we, we will need to extract the product key you right click here you select and then you extract the product key let's do the same thing to the firmware also okay so um now let's head back and let choose decryption key and then you head over to the folder that contains your your product key so here you select the product key that you extracted and then you select the product dot key you press open it says decryption keys were successfully installed you press on ok so let's do the same thing to the firmware also so you you press on the tools and then you select on install firmware and then you select the folder that contains your firmware files firmware and then here you select on this one which is select folder and then wait for you to finish installing okay so we are done with the installation of both the product keys and the firmware so what's left now is um for us to i mean for our games to appear at the home page of this session so we need to double click as it says over here double click to add a new folder what's up guys so you need to double click it and then locate the folder that contains your switch games And then boom you should see your games appearing here so for for the emulator to scan your subfolder what you have to do is you have to right click on this icon 
over here the top section of this place here you have to right click and then you select on scan subfolders here you should now have your all your games appearing here so um we are going to do a little settings for for the emulator so head over to the emulation and then you select on configure and then under graphics make sure that it is set on vulcan and also device make sure that you select your um you select your external gpu or external graphics card so when you look here i have gts 1070 ti that's why it's showing 1070 ti so here you select and then you select your external gpu here now with the control head over to the control session which is this session and then under player one you can choose between pro pro controller and the handheld controller i always go with the pro controller and then under input device you should see something like keyboard only just press on it and make sure that your controller is connected so let's say if you have ps5 controller or ps4 controller or if you better still Xbox 360 controller it should appear over here so as at now i only have Xbox 360 controller connected that is why it's showing Xbox 360 controller so with that you select your preferable connected controller you select it and then it will automatically and then it will automatically map to your controller as you can see it has already mapped to my controller and everything is working perfectly so after that you can do the same set same you can do the same setting to the player two if you want to have two players so you can do the same setting to player two after you are done just press on ok like this and if you have a low end device i will advise you guys on taking on taking this make sure it is on handheld and the high this thing which is high make sure it is on normal and here billionaire and here to no a -A -A. so um these are the um best settings for low-end devices or um pc that have low-end or that have low specs so if your pc have low specs make sure you copy this session down here and do it the same thing as this one okay so now we are done with the installation of the emulator for the pc now what's left is for us to install the emulator on android so the next session is going to be on the android session let's go to the android session okay so we are here for the installation of the emulator on android device so um i'll provide the download link for the android version so after you download the emulator you are going to see something like this which is cu android um 64.apk so um before that make sure you get your product key as well as i said in the pc version so you are going to need it here too so um first thing first you have to install the emulator i mean the apk okay you have to install the apk and then you press on open here like this you should see a welcome page which says learn how to set up user and jump into emulation blah 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 just press on get started and here with the notification press on allow after that press next here it says select your product keys so what you are going to do is head over to this session and then you are going to extract your product keys so this is the product keys so now head of head over to the emulator again and then you press on select keys press on this and then locate the folder that contains your product key so it is located here product key here is it and then you select your product keys here it says games and we see select your games folder with the button below and what this implements is that we are going to press on add games and then select the folder that contains our switch games so to do that just press on add games and then head over to your internal storage 
locate the folder that contains your switch games and then after selecting that folder you should see something like use this folder so you press on use this folder and then you press on allow you press on or you tick in deep scan and then you press on ok select on done and here you should see your switch games here your switch games should appear like this so for performance just press on settings head to advanced settings graphics and make sure that your and with this one you can you can play with it and choose the one which suits your device or you choose the one which works better for your device so uh, with the vsync just press on it and then you select one immediate off press on back here like this audio outputs now volume okay okay it's okay here head over to the debug session and make sure this one is it's it's thick as well can okay so um this it's 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 so easy it's so easy to set the emulator on android so this is this how we set up the suyu emulator on android phone suyu is one of the best user fork i mean one of the best switch emulator which came and i don't know why they got templated it's all due to nintendo and i don't know why nintendo is doing that so um what i'm going to tell you guys is that subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to my second channel as well i have two two channels one subscribe to this channel the one that you are watching this video on and then the second is subscribe to my second channel as well okay so thank you for watching if you really like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you